I recently posted a short about George Lucas's original plan for Luke Skywalker's twin, and a comment from Goodman4966 caught my attention. They said, now I really want to see a what if Leia was the main protagonist of the original trilogy. That reminded me of Star Wars Infinities, a comic series from the early 2000s. If you're not familiar, Star Wars Infinities explores alternate histories for each film in the original trilogy. In The Empire Strikes Back, they explore a scenario where Luke Skywalker dies in the frozen wastelands of Hoth. Imagine this, the galaxy is on the brink of collapse, the Empire is tightening its grip, and the Rebel Alliance is fighting a desperate battle for survival. But in this version of history, the person at the center of this story isn't Luke Skywalker. What if it was Leia Organa? It starts on the icy plains of Hoth. Luke Skywalker, sent out on a routine patrol, meets his end, not by the hand of Darth Vader, but by the cold. Han Solo finds Luke's body barely alive, but it's too late. With his dying breath, Luke tells Han to take his place, to train as a Jedi on Dagobah. Han isn't convinced. He's not cut out to be a Jedi. He's a smuggler, a pilot, a gambler. But Leia, Leia feels the weight of the galaxy's eyes on her. From this moment on, the story shifts. Leia steps forward into a role she was never meant to play. Or was she? What if Luke's death wasn't the true divergence? What if the Force had always been pulling Leia towards this path? Could it be that Leia was always destined to become the hero of the galaxy? The Rebellion was already hanging by a thread. They flee Hoth under relentless Imperial fire, with Leia commanding the escape. But she carries more than just the weight of leadership. She's haunted as Luke's death triggers something inside her. At first, it's subtle, a sense that things aren't quite as they seem. But then on Dagobah, it becomes undeniable. When Leia, Han, and Chewbacca arrive, Yoda reveals the truth. It isn't Han who's meant to be trained as a Jedi. He tells them Leia is the twin sister of Luke Skywalker, the daughter of Darth Vader. And now, with Luke gone, Leia is the last hope for the galaxy. It's a revelation that shakes Leia to her core, her father, Darth Vader. The man who tortured her and destroyed her home is the same man who shares her blood. But Yoda wastes no time. There's a war to be fought, and Leia must learn the ways of the Force. But here's where things get even more interesting. Leia's training is accelerated. Fast. Perhaps too fast. There's no time for her to reflect on what it means to carry the Skywalker legacy. The weight of her new powers grows with each passing day, but beneath it all, a question lingers. Can she truly face Darth Vader? Can she confront her father, knowing the darkness that lives within him also lives within her? As the months go by, the Galactic Civil War draws ever closer. Han, Chewbacca, and the droids make their way to Tatooine to resolve Han's debt to Jabba the Hutt, but events quickly unravel. Meanwhile, Leia stays on Dagobah, growing stronger and more connected to the Force with each passing day. It's then that something unexpected happens. Vader, still unaware of Luke's death, launches his search for young Skywalker. He arrives on Dagobah, the dark side pulsing through him as he demands Yoda surrender his son. When Yoda tells Vader the truth, that Luke is dead, the Sith Lord's rage is unmatched. But it's in this confrontation that Vader learns the full truth about Leia. Father and daughter, the past and future of the Skywalker bloodline collide in a way that was never meant to happen. And yet here they are, drawn together by fate. Leia faces her father in a confrontation of wills. As their lightsabers clash, it's not just for survival, it's a battle for the soul of the galaxy. Vader, once a hero, now corrupted by the dark side, sees the potential in Leia. He offers her a place by his side, a chance to rule the galaxy as father and daughter. But Leia, resolute, refuses. She won't be swayed by the same temptations that claimed her father. In this moment, everything hangs in the balance. Will Leia become the Jedi that the Rebellion so desperately needs, or will she fall to the darkness, repeating the sins of the Skywalker line? The duel ends not with Leia's fall, but with Vader's defeat. But it's not the lightsaber that finishes him, it's Leia's spirit, her unbreakable will. Han and Chewbacca arrive just in time, and in a final desperate act, Han fires on Vader, killing him. But there's no victory in his death, only a quiet, tragic redemption. Leia sees her father for what he once was, Anakin Skywalker, a man who was good. In his final moments, Vader becomes Anakin again, and Leia, carrying the legacy of her family, becomes the Jedi the galaxy needs. But that leaves us with questions. What kind of galaxy would Leia, as the last Jedi, have created? With no Luke to guide her, no brother to share the burden, what would the future of the galaxy have looked like under her leadership? What if Princess Leia was the true chosen one? 
If you found this Star Wars What If compelling, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to join us on future deep dives into Star Wars lore. Let us know your answer to these questions in the comments and which what-if scenarios you'd like us to explore in the future. Until then, may the Force be with you.